Hey guys, this is George with Diamond Yard Sports Cards. After a long hiatus, I'm back. Have not been uh, on YouTube for a little while. Been a couple months since we got back from a Long Beach show. However, I have been collecting. I've been buying stuff. I've been selling stuff. It has not gone dark. There is uh, no no card November. Uh, still trying to pick up cards, um, vintage, modern. And so I wanted to share a few pickups with you guys. I'll also have a couple more videos coming out. Um, one from the Joey Brings It contest um, with a graded card that my son Gavin got. Also, another one from Base 1986's uh, subscriber contest as well that we got a great package from him. But without further ado, I'm going to get into some of these cards. There's vintage, there's modern, there's one card we got back from PS, or I got back from PSA, and some other cards, uh, two cards I'm going to be submitting in my next order. So here we go. first card I wanted to show you guys, I'm going to start off kind of big here. This was a pickup, um, always looking to add to the Jackie Robinson collection. This is a rookie Jackie, and it's a 49 Bowman uh, in a one and a half. Uh, like this card a lot, centering was great. Obviously, it has some creases in it. Um, at the same time, you know, from an investment perspective, this is always a good card to pick up. They're constantly going up in value. I do have other ones of this card. Um, but this is the kind of card you want to, you know, purchase and probably hold on to, uh, considering it's, you know, a big part of baseball history. Uh, the 48 Leaf, um, I saw Blue Jacket 66 got a bump on, on his 48 Leaf from a 3 to a 3.5 in a video that came out a while ago. But um, that's the card to get, obviously. But this one is still a uh, very desirable uh, card of the legend, Jackie Robinson. Next card was... Um, Part of a submission uh, from from Long Beach that we got, or from PSA Collectors Club, we got back. I only submitted one card. My buddy Eric submitted about five or six. This is a 1921 Walter Johnson. I've shown this in one of my other videos before. It was graded. I was hoping to get a grade on it, uh, but you can see the edges uh, may not allow it to measure like these cards should measure. Um, real nice card though. The color is great, and uh, I collect these strip cards. Uh, this card, you know, nearly 100 years old. The color's still really nice on this, um, the blue background, and you have the kind of uh, the 1920s style. Uh, these W551 cards are actually multi-sport cards, so you get like Johnny Weismuller, you've got Jack Dempsey's in this, Babe Ruth, Trish Speaker, Ty Cobb, uh, among others, Gene Zarison, the golfer. Um, anyway, hoping to get a grade on this, but just happy that it's authentic and it's, it's slab, so... Next cards, um, more modern. Walker Bueller picked up this on-card auto refractor. Uh, this is oh, it's, uh, look at the shininess. And so this card was uh, numbered to four ninety-nine. Um, thought this would be a good pickup, good investment. Um, he did very well this year. I imagine he'll do. He'll improve his performance next year. Uh, another Bueller card I picked up, and I've been trying to buy some of these. I have. Purchased a Glaber, and this is a gold refractor, uh, 2018 Topps Chrome gold refractor. This one is numbered, very low pop, to 50. Um, so this was an auction. Uh, I think it went for around 100 bucks, and I was happy with that. Uh, not too many of these are out there, obviously. Next card, um, Jeter. This is kind of a rare Jeter card. I like this set, this Upper Deck Evolution set. And Four Sharp Corners had this for like $19.99 plus shipping. Um, this card's got a pop of nine PSA 10s. This is the same year as obviously Ichiro and uh, Pujols Rookies. Those are numbered in this set. Um, but those Epidec Evolution cards are pretty cool looking. Uh, Jeter's obviously going to be going in. I know everybody's been getting their Jeter's graded. Um, very smart move. Uh, I know Foo3112 had talked about the the SP being, you know, the card to get, which I believe it, it was if you if, if you bought it like a year or two ago. Um, next cards, I bought two of these because they were so nicely centered. Clemente, 73, um, in an 8. Now, this one, I mean, a real nice card. I think I got it for like 100, 125 bucks, somewhere around there. Uh, the backs on these are always tough. And you can see there's a mark there, which probably makes it why it's not higher grade. It's still a real nice card. Uh, but then there was another one that came up. And it was equally centered as well. So I'm like, well, you know, this is Roberto Clemente. Um, it's a very, very nice card. Last card of his, obviously. And uh, 
So I picked these both up. They were both around at 125, 130. But for the centering, I figured you couldn't beat this. Next card, Hank Aaron on card auto of my favorite, my favorite Hank Aaron card, the 1960 card. And uh, these are just hard to find in on card auto. Um, I love the blue and the yellow on this card. It is, it's my favorite Hank card. Um, so many cool Hank cards, but this one was an on card auto. And uh, I couldn't pass it up when I saw it. I said, you know, I, I don't collect a lot of autographs, but. This one looked really nice. It wasn't over his face. The autograph was in the right spot. There's a little blurriness um, right there where the autograph got a little a little smudged, but I'm, I'm happy with it um, to add to the Hank collection. And speaking of Hank, Vintage Card Curator did a video about this, this card in the same grade, uh, but this card, I believe, has a lot of room to grow. It's the 1955 Hank Aaron, and this one is a, a real nice example. The centering is... I couldn't, I negotiated with the guy. I've got a couple of these, but I couldn't pass this one up because the centering was so nice. The card looked really solid. Um, you know, and now might not be the right time to be buying an eight. I can't afford an eight, but um, in these lower grades, I still feel confident in buying vintage cards. I mean, you know, most, most people are not altering, you know, a, a three to a five, uh, but this one was really nice card of the home run the home run king. Um, added this one to the collection. And uh, thank thank you, Mike O. Uh, this card went for less than I thought it was going to. The 54 Bowman Ted, obviously, is a, is a short print. Um, you could look at other videos with the history of this card, how Ted had a contract and didn't have a contract with Bowman. They printed these and they pulled them. Um, I'm not too slick on the up top top to bottom centering, but the left to right centering is great. This is an old grade, as you can see, by the flip. And the seller had it on, not very good pictures, and there was a scratch near his chin. And so I thought this really looked like it was on the case. So Mike O had done a video a while ago about, and if you guys don't know, about McGuire's to get the scratches off the cases. And so I got the Ted and uh, got the Ted and the case was scratched up and the McGuire's took out a lot of the scratches, including the scratch on his chin, um, or at least most of the scratch on his chin. So this is a, a great thing to do if you have your, you know, a slab and instead of getting it re-slabbed, see if the McGuire's will work. Uh, great tip, Mike. Thank you. So real happy to pick up this Ted, add it to the Ted collection. Um, two other cards. I get three left. Satchel Page. These were jersey cards. This one's got a really cool um, stitch in it. You can see. And I'm going to get these graded next time I submit uh, to PSA. We've got a 100 card order in right now. Uh, probably we'll get it back in about four months. Uh, and so we head out to the show in Long Beach in February. We're going to drop some cards off. Uh, these are 2000, I believe, 2005. Satches. Some guy had a great deal on these and buy both of them for like it was like 70 shipped or something like that. And remember, they're in real good condition. I imagine they'll get eights and above. Um, anyway, last card and question for the YouTube community here. This is a 55 Bowman Mantle in you know Beckett five and a half. I was really happy with this card, but I may want to sub it to PSA. And so, you know, understanding that it might get a five or something like that. But there's a wax stain on the back right there. And I'm not sure if PSA will dock you for wax stains on 55 Bowmans. Um, I've seen fives out there that have multiple wax stains on the back. So I think it's just kind of part of, of the card like the earlier Bowmans in 51. But if anybody has any knowledge they can share with me, I would appreciate it about if PSA will knock you down for a wax stain on the back of the 55 Bowman. Um, but I couldn't pass this makeup. It was really nice um, centering left to right could be better top to bottom is pretty good and the registration is excellent so guys i'll be back with more videos uh and good to be doing videos again keep collecting